I don't want to keep delaying these, so let me present to you the hand-drawn elements toolkit, which is a collection of hand-drawn elements that I actually did myself that I then adapted to DaVinci Resolve. Now, let me show you what the toolkit has to offer. So if you see the trailer video, if you can check out the website page, you can see a bunch of things that you can do with it. And obviously, the sky is the limit. If you think of something cool, then you can probably add this to that. All right. First of all, what we have is the hand drawn and we have a couple of different styles right here. All style is a bunch of different type of scribbles, right? Which were basically videos that are recorded and then I ended up having to turn them into sequences so that they end up working properly. And these include sound effects, right? All of these have their own sound effects that have the same name. But in Fusion, you're not able to add sound effects directly into a macro, right? So that's why we don't have that option available. So you have to update or bring the audio files into your media bin like you would do on any other project. All right. So how does this work? Pretty simple. It just plays like that. If you want to adjust the speed of these, you do have to turn this into a compound clip and then adjust the speed from there, because that's probably the simplest way to do that. Unless this becomes a really popular tool, then I can work on an option to make these a little bit easier to adjust the speed wise. But for now, you can do that. Now for the controls, we have similar controls to anything else, right? We have size, position, then we also have the color controls, which allow you to change the color to whatever color that you want it to be. And then for the frame repeat, this option was actually more for the ones that loop. But I just kept this on as well on this on this alt style, because maybe you just wanted to make this a little bit more interesting like that. But if you do that, then you have to check into the sound effect of these as well, because they won't match exactly the same if you adjust the frame repeat option. After the alt style elements that are 35, 36, maybe we have letters. There's three sets of letters. First of all, we have this one, which is looping A like that. And it has the same controls. And also the frame repeat just makes it slower like that. Then we have a two or the second category or second style, which is sort of like a different type font or like, I don't know if you what you call this exact style, which is not 3D, but it has volume, right? So yeah, you get what I'm saying. And then A3 is the actual letter that's actually written on like that. And then you can also adjust the same exact values on this as well. Then we have the numbers, which are exactly the same. A1 is a looping of the zero, for example. Then we have the second style, which is volumetric, I think we could call these. And then we have the third style, which is the actual letter just being written on like that. OK, now we have the shapes are a bunch of different shapes as well. So we have a bunch of arrows that you can find them pretty useful, I think, uh, for your projects. These I really like this style of this one because it's a little bit more grunge like, right? The 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 pencil I use for these, I think it was something like charcoal type of um, pencil. And that ended up looking pretty good, in my opinion. And then we have a couple of different ones that have their own animations, like this one, like that. And they all loop. If you want them to be a little bit slower, you can adjust this frame and pre or then go and, and do the common clip, then speed uh, settings route if you want to do that as well, right? That we have a bunch of different stuff that you can use on your projects. We have doodles that can work in a variety of ways, right? And then we have this money sign and a bunch more, a bunch of X's like that, a little share type of icon that I tried to do. It looked okay, I think. Uh, a bunch of different icons and triangles and stuff like that, right? So those are the generator elements. Now, I have also put together a bunch of transitions here. If we take a look at these, you can see that it looks like a brush stroke transition. And you can just make that work by simply dropping them on top like that. Now, if we put these in the middle, let me actually let's do these. Cut that a little bit that way. If I put that in the middle like that, it looks like that. Let me make this a little bit bigger. They are all dynamic, so they will adjust depending to the length of that you um, 
set it to be, right? Now we have this color control right here, and that color control is for the drop shadow that this has right here. As you can see, it changes a little bit. It's pretty subtle. And then we also have these other drop shadows. So we have two drop shadows, basically, that you can adjust and play around with to see what you end up coming up with. You can change the color of that too as well if you want that. So it's a pretty cool effect and there's a bunch of different styles. Now, there's another style of these that is, I think, pretty popular. I've seen it a lot on social media, sort of like, you know, the overlay effect of when there's the, there's the, what do you call it? It's not like a light flicker. It's like a like the lens flares transitions basically but with this style of element right so you can see these x's right here they won't transition directly or completely cover the screen right you could drop these like that and make that work as well because it's pretty fast but the way i thought they looked cooler was that if you add a fusion clip let me drop this right here you can make these pretty small right click and then make sure that it has a background node on it like that then you can just drop any of these transitions that are on this style that let's say these x for example right and they do have that interesting style like that actually that x seemed to have covered the whole screen uh, this one have a lot more this one has a lot more doodles right like that and there, it, it looks pretty cool. I think it looks really cool. Here, you can adjust the position and stuff of it as well. And if you want, you can just copy these and then you have two of them and make them different colors like that. So you can play around with like, and be make it adapt to your project, right? So we have these two right here. Now it has a bunch of more different interesting interesting effect on it like that the duration of these are all dynamic right so if you make these shorter it will be a lot faster like that and if you make it longer it will last longer and we have the same exact values here that you can change that is the hand-drawn toolkits or the hand-drawn elements toolkit if you are interested on checking out more about it Check out the link in the description and then you can find it right there and then you can decide there if you want to get these pack if it's going to be something useful for your projects and that is it bye